This is a typical 5 volt buzzer. We will install this on this F3 Omnibus flight computer on the pins marked green in the upper left. We will find a place on the fuselage where we can embed it. Mine shall go in here in the back. Mark the spot where you want to embed the buzzer and then begin to drill the place out. Be sure not to take two big tools like I did. That will spoil your fuselage and don't make it look fine afterwards. Just take the fine tools and drill the hole so that the buzzer will fit in nicely. Next up, the wires. We will use a current and ground connection to the board to make the buzzer make its noise. Be sure not to make it too short. I have chosen to let the wires run within the fuselage. This gives a cleaner surface. I started to drill the hole with a screwdriver and afterwards I took this brass. If you are impatient just like me, you are gonna hate the next part. We will have to work the wire through the hole. And the foam is not your friend here, so take your time, relax, this will do. I promise, this will do. You will find your way through. As I told you, <laughs> there you go. Well done. Now is the time to grab your soldering iron, because we need to connect the wires to the buzzer. I started up splitting the wires and giving them a little blob of solder. Then I just chopped the pins of the buzzer and also gave them a little blob of solder. Don't forget to add a little shrink tube around the connections. And of course have in mind, PLUS is marked on the sticker and the red wire should be connected to it. After having checked your connections, place the ring tube where it should be and heat it up, so it will do its job. Now we are ready to work the buzzer into the fuselage. And before we do so, we'll have to take care of the connection where the hole is, where the wires come out. In order to de-stress the area, we'll carve it a little bit. The pins will get deeper, the wires will find their way. Ok guys, time to connect the buzzer. If we get the white smoke, or we get an awful noise. Power up your board. Does this sound familiar to you? I think so. Well done! Ah, and I forgot. The wires run here, and it comes up far too high to close the hatch. We have uh, to carve a little bit so we can hide the wire within the carve. Now, having done so, we can close the hatch properly. In order to save your components from the moisture in the air, just put some tape over it. This works fine and is still good to hear. Now what do we have in store here for you? Just click one of these videos and don't forget to subscribe to our channel, we really appreciate your help. Are you ready? I will tell you some more about the sky shadow and what I did to it. Be seeing ya!